Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, this is Lucy here. Uh, today we are going to draw a skeleton warrior, I suppose. Um, for a little bit of context, I have an upcoming show in October. It's going to be running basically for the month of October, starts in the first week, at a place called Netherworld, which is in Brisbane, Fortitude Valley, technically, in Australia. Uh, this is not my show per se, I am just one of the many artists that will be involved. The It's called the Bone Zone, right? So the, the theme is skeletons or bones or anything of that sort. Um, and I'm going to be one of the many artists doing a, a piece in there, so there'll be quite a few in there. Uh, I did a piece last year, which I will show in the, in the video here. Um, and yeah, it was a lot of fun and a lot of people came along and it is sort of their like Halloween special because Netherworld in particular, they go all out for Halloween. So it's always a really, really good time. So, um, I've actually just been shopping. So I've got an idea of what I'm going to draw in my mind, right? And I've started to sketch that out, but I had to go shopping to get some of the supplies because I didn't really have everything that I needed to do it. So, um, one of, some of the things I bought is I got this mixed media pad, right? Um, I actually already had this in the smaller size and I've used it a couple of times and the thing with it, the paper is really, really, really thick. So um, it's like a hard card. So yeah, the paper on this is really, really thick and really hard, which makes me just feel like it's something that's going to last for a really, really long time. So when I have my piece of art at the show, uh, you know, whoever purchases it, if some if someone purchases it, it's going to be something that's going to last them a really, really long time and they can have hanging on their walls for, you know, years and years to come. So that's really, really important to me when I'm creating a big piece like this. Um, so I've got this in, it's 9 by 12 inches. So this is what I'm going to use. I bought, so Gansai Tambi, which is essentially watercolour paint, but from what I've read, they mix it with uh, different types of gums and different types of like beeswax and stuff than what more western watercolors uses meaning that it doesn't soak into the paper as much it'll sit on top so you can lift it off easier and like from you know reading and watching things about it i think this is how to get the kind of studio ghibli watercolor effect look and they also have some really really nice colors i can even see from like like this one and this one it's gonna be in my painting i love it they look gorgeous so that's very exciting. I also got some pretty small detailing brushes. So the, um, the brush tip on it is quite small because I know I'm going to need that for this art piece. And this is a latex rubber, which is apparently really, really good. When you use watercolor, you have this drawing gum that you can paint over an area and keep it dry so that the paint doesn't go on it. And then when you need to peel it off, I've heard that this is apparently really, really good. The lady at the shop told me um, to get it off without ripping the paper. All right, so that's all my supplies. Now let's get into the actual drawing. So here is my sketchbook and this is just laying down a few of the ideas that I've had for creating this piece. Um, so essentially, it's going to be like a skeleton boy in I want it to look sort of like samurai armor and have smoke coming out of his mouth and have a sword of some kind but I've had a look at a few different styles and designs of swords so uh, yeah we will work that out soon. Okay, so what we have here is I've already gone through and done a couple of sketches in my sketchbook uh, to do, try different iterations. So he's got like a katana here where he's got a spiky sword here and this is sort of what I'm going to go with. Um, different styles of armor and that kind of thing. And then I came up with a final sketch and so the sketch was under here. 
and I'm doing the old tracing paper trick. So this is baking paper, just, just regular like kitchen baking paper that I've drawn on top of and it has a waxy finish. So I'm hoping when I flip it over and transfer it onto my watercolor paper and then I press on it, some of the graphite will come off and I'm not gonna get a fully detailed drawing, but I should get enough lines to have something to work with. Okay, so I've got my paper. I've measured one centimeter in from the edges and stuck all my masking tape around. Now I'm ready to transfer the sketch onto there and possibly do some painting. This is a little bit nerve wracking. The, the set of sheets, which has 12 of them, cost $75. So each sheet is pretty expensive. So I really don't want to stuff this up and you want to prepare as much as possible. So I don't know how well you can pick it up, but it definitely has worked. Uh, it's enough for me to work with at least, and I can sketch over this as we go. I have definitely got to just wash my hands because the graphite I think got on some, some bits. So I'm gonna go do that before I do any more. A bit more preparation, this is just deciding on a colour scheme to go with. Alright, so it took me ages to figure out a colour scheme, but I finally picked one, decided to go with it. Um, so here I am laying down the colours. Uh, the light blue stuff in the... Um, where the smoke is coming from his mouth, that is the drawing gum. So when I paint over it, I can peel it off later and it'll be just like white paper underneath. Also, full disclosure, this particular footage was from a Twitch stream. So there's like a little box down in the left corner. I can't get rid of it. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, just ignore it. So I made a swatch video of these watercolors, which is also on my channel if you want to have a look at it. But I talk about it in here. The color that I'm using for his hair is so, so delicious. And it became like a must. I definitely wanted to use it in this painting. I love it so much. Basically after I had all the colors laid down I decided to outline a lot of the black with like a very rich dark red. I just thought it might really really make the colors pop. Alrighty, so it's been a few days and our painting is 
finally finished. I'm super happy with how it turned out. Here we are for scale. Um, I'm gonna have to name him. I think he looks like some kind of conqueror, some kind of like war general. I'm gonna have to think about that. I'm not sure about the name yet, um, but I'll organize that today. I'm super happy with how it came out. I'm so happy that I purchased the watercolors that I did. I think the colors came out really, really lovely. Um, I'll get some close-ups for you for that. And now today I have to get it framed up. So I've got a frame here that I'm going to use. Um, I've just got a couple of bits and pieces to put together and then I'll add some wire on the back and he'll be ready to submit to the venue. is all framed up ready to go and there it is the big reveal um yeah it's looking really good it's going to be taken to netherworld today if anyone lives in the area um definitely go check it out anytime in october um this will be here for real and all of the other amazing artists are going to be a part of the show as well um and if you happen to go there around halloween it is like a blast so yeah have a good time definitely go check it out um and I think that's everything. Thank you for watching. Here's a little sneaky treat for sticking around to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. This is a little virtual tour of the show. Um, definitely check it out if you can and please support your local artists. Bye.